still get excited to see each other. I still like, she wants to sex me multiple times a day. Your girl's like trying to tap out like WWE, like. People have misconceptions about your relationship because you both have careers, you travel, you do things for yourselves as one should as an adult human being. Um, what, what do you want to say about that? Because I feel like it's something that is important to bring up. I have to say, the way that people feel, honestly, is is valid, right? Because they saw that, they saw, you know, the beginning, they saw TV, they saw drama. I mean, we definitely, I was not in the right headspace. When I met him, I was in, you know, there's just so much stuff happened in the beginning of the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and it was all public. Um, and so I understand how people would see that, hold on to that. They're not living with us day to day. They don't know what we've been through together. Um, there's no more clout left here. You know, people want to throw that polo juice. No, what clout? Who am I? You know what I mean? He's the one that's, you know, picked me off the ground. Um, you know, he's stuck with me through, you know, my whole damn Accutane journey. Like, let me tell you what, the most biggest insecurity of my entire life, like my purge, like I went through Accutane. I was breaking out. I like didn't want to look at myself in the mirror. I wanted to hide from the world. This man's with me every day telling me I'm beautiful. He loves me. Um, you know, we are both extremely hard workers in our own right. I'm very independent, I'm an only child. So it's like, I'm used to doing my own thing. I encourage him to do his thing. I think a lot of failures in relationships happen when you try to control someone, you try to keep them close to you. Um, a lot of times people lose their identity in relationships. Like I know I'm able to maintain me, who I am, what I like to do, my group of friends, my CrossFit gym. He does his thing, he trains, he travels. I support him, we talk every night. It's more exciting when we do see each other. Um, nobody sees um, every night, you know, when the work is done and, and you know, I'm, I'm focused here and he's focused here and we finally get together. Um, and he always, it's, you know, like you would never recognize the man and I won't explain it, but like he, he'll, you know, he'll come lay on me and he's like, is snow go time? <laughs> And like he literally, like he assumed, we assume the position, like <laughs> he lays on me, I pat his head, I scratch his back, we fall asleep, like entwined together. Every single night, it's every morning, it's I love you, you're my partner, you're my best friend, like I shit you not, this, I know that I'm with the right person and I know we had a, a rough beginning and I understand that's what fans saw and fans don't see and they're never going to see, you know, a healthy relationship on TV, to be honest, because it's, you know, we're there, we're playing a character. There's, there's out, there's, you know, abnormal scenarios. They're never going to see the day to day of, of us and how we are. And we don't blast it all over social media either. We're, we're pretty private there too. And we're open and people are confused about that. And they're like, well, they've got to be everybody and cheating. And we have such a good, we've come to such a good place, me mentally to where I am now and us together and we've been with each other through the worst of the worst um we still get excited to see each other i still like she wants to sex me multiple times a day your girl's like trying to tap out like wwe like i mean it's the sex is good the love is good the the friendship is good like <clears throat> this is my person yeah. and that's that I, th I think where a lot of people get lost in society now is uh, because social media is so prevalent mm. that the second something goes wrong, everybody's natural reaction is to just, um, you know, leave and like try and find the perfect scenario. And the perfect scenario doesn't exist because in order to get to the perfect scenario, you have to work through things. And I feel as though most relationships break down because of lack of communication um, and, uh, control, uh, controlling habits and nature and, and jealousy and insecurities and all that stuff. Uh, so in order to be like a success in a successful relationship, I feel like you need to strip all of that, right? Like Cara was like, uh, I've been through her with her actor team, but, uh, I was getting my teeth fixed, uh, probably right after war of the worlds too, before we filmed that reunion, I had Invisalign on that day of the reunion. Invisalign. You know, and the camera's like and right in my full face. Of acne. And, Invisalign. and you know, but Shut but up. hold on, my my Invisalign is there. Like my teeth were crooked as hell. I had the stuff in all day. I had to gain sixty pounds for the bobsled. I was the 
I don't want to say the fattest, but I was the biggest that I've been. And, you know, I grew my hair out long because I was just chilling and everything. And, you know, I've, um, you know, people who don't realize that I was like training for something, like they're just sitting there, oh, you got fat, oh, you got fat, oh, you look ugly. You Girls deal with it all the freaking time, it's brutal, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But like, she, she was there with me with my nasty Invisalign, stanky cool. breath, um, you know, getting big, uh, you it's know. any insecurity, basically. Yeah, like anything, and like, you know, she's seen me like, uh, you know, when I'm dealing with his nose job. Well, I, yeah, I got my nose fixed. I mean, um, you know, I had a septum. deviated septum. Sorry, but, like one um, of his nostrils was closed. But uh, <laughs> but she she was with me through like the process of because like my, my biggest thing is like I love competing more than anything else in the world. Like right. I do not do any of this stuff regardless of what anybody's ever said about me. I don't do it for the TV time. I don't do it for the fame. I don't even do it for the money. I do it because I want to be called a champion. I want to win as many things as possible. And uh, when that was taken from me in the manner in which it was taken from me, um, you know, there was a huge hole again and she was with me through that. And then she supported me as I was building and building and pouring into this other stuff. And I was like, hey, I got to try out for the Olympics. And she was like, okay. And then I'm like, hey, I'm gonna train for a fight. And she's like, okay, you know, and then, um, you know, half of the, the hardest part was then seeing her also through that process and how things uh, happened uh, through there and how castmates, uh, you know, were, were going about things. Um, you know, it takes a lot with each other to just be able to be like, hey, we're okay. It's gonna be okay. It's this gonna be is... okay. And that's, <laughs> To, to be able to appreciate that now and during the time, it's like most people would have crumbled. Most relationships would have crumbled. I didn't make it easy. Like I, 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 I'm gonna say right now, I, I did not make it easy. Like I, if, if it wasn't, I've always said this, I build my walls high so that the right person will climb them. And most people are like, oh, it's, oh, f it. it's not, you know what I mean? Like I push, I push and I pushed him hard and I was not the easiest person at all, especially in the beginning. And I, I've had like, I've just been like, a f all right. And people don't see this. And the fact that he literally, like if I say something, he's like, I know you don't mean that. Like, you know how when we say girls say some shit because mm -hmm. they want it to hurt, but they really don't, they really want you to be like, they say some mean shit to get yeah. you to run the opposite direction, but they don't want you to run. They mm -hmm. want you to come back and be like, I f know you don't mean that. Like, yeah. why, you really mean that? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, no, <laughs> like, uh -huh. damn it. You know, and like he has, he has held on through th some storms that I have, I have, I'm saying like, I have been a fucking something. Mm -hmm. And I do notice a lot of relationships especially in the Instagram world, it's like, look at this, look at this, look at this. And it's all these like grand displays, like The Bachelor, you know what I mean? It's set like an, an unrealistic standard of, of what a relationship is. And it's, that's what you see, mm -hmm. but it's things that you don't see that is what glues and holds a relationship yeah. together. Yeah. And so yeah. we are on, this is like another level of- Same wavelength. A connection. That's why he, yeah. can, he can be in California and I'm not, I'm not being like, oh yeah, what? Why didn't you call me? Like he, like we, we understand, yeah, we trust. Once again, the it's the insecurities that ruin relationships. So it's like, yeah. if, if I'm away and she's going out with her friends, if I'm sitting there just being like, oh, why'd you call me? Where, 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 are, where are you? Where are you? What, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Who's that in the background? Like, like, that, we're not in high school. We're in our thirties. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you know, vice versa. I mean, she, I mean, first of all, she knows I'm getting murdered by turbo for eight yeah. hours a day training for this fight. Um, but, uh, you know, and then plus I'm a grandpa. I go to sleep early as every night and, and like i don't drink i don't do drugs i don't do yeah. any shit i never have um as much as people think i'm crazy on tv i'm sober when all that shit's happening right um <laughs> and uh yeah so <laughs> put that in your put that in your memory <laughs> well I'm scorpio shit happens mm -hmm. um but also like just like the the communication and and where most people 
uh, get confused is like they think open relationship, like yeah. Car mentioned, is just like, oh, they're separated. We're that means that everybody. it's just some like fuck session. <laughs> no, like, right. uh, you know, it, it's not. And, invite, uh, invite only. It's invite, and but it's also like trusting um, mm -hmm. who you're around, you know what I mean? Okay, thinking? so I'm gonna ask because I am probably the most vanilla person in the world so i i need to i need you guys to explain it to me like are there are there rules to it is it more like if there's something you're interested in you guys just have a discussion about it is it always that's kind of the open communication about it and just yeah it's it's just open communication like you can't get offended like if she comes to me and she's like hey i'm thinking about this i can't be like oh wait, no what you, judgment what, what do you like about this guy like what it's you know no what i mean judgment. like it's just kind of like all right, you know, like, and, but, and same thing. It's not, and like, you have to be okay with yourself. Right. You know what I mean? So like, if she's talking about somebody, I can't sit there and they start to be like, oh my God, the guy's got a better six pack than me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's got a prettier face. Like, is, is she gonna leave me for him? You know, and vice versa. Right. She can't be like, oh my God, like, you know, she's an Instagram model, blah, 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 blah. Right. Like, uh, is, is he gonna leave me for him? Like, it needs to be the, like- The base is, that when when we're together, even when we're not together, the way that we communicate each other, like I know without a fraction of a doubt in my mind how much this man loves me. And I yeah. think that's what it comes down to is people yeah. in you know, even when they're in a closed relationship, it's it's yeah. you're insecure with yourself. So you take it on your partner or you push oh. them away and then they're like, what the f um or just the, the jealousy stuff like that yeah. like it just i know he tells me every day i know the way he hugs me the way he holds me the way he kisses me like i know this is my person this is my man he loves me i love him and we are honest with each other we're open about what our interests yeah. are a lot of people will hide um sexual fetishes or things they like to do because they're afraid of scaring their partner off and it's like we are just the, yeah. the best way we can be is confident with ourselves, with the person and how they feel about us and just open. Yeah, and 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 obviously you have to have things set in place like proper uh, protection measures. Well, duh. Right, yeah, and, um, and also uh, you have to have a lot of things set in place because like we're not trying to run into a situation with people who are just trying to get clout yeah. off of us. Um, you know, so everything is very, uh, secretive yeah. and it's very like in our own bubble if we even get one wrong vibe right it's like it's enough we're very careful. you know what i mean like we're extremely careful like with everything everything um mm -hmm. you know and most of the time it's a it's a it's a it's a dual uh decision you know like it's not just like hey i want to go do this and i'm like i don't and if she's like eh no I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be like. Well, I'm gonna still go do this. It's okay. like, oh, okay, and vice versa. And I've had some I, bad. Like I've been in a relationship, <laughs> and shit was bad on many levels. Here, here's the thing. Most most men um, that try these things out, usually it comes from a guy who just wants access to so many women, mm -hmm. um, and they use their girl as the um, tool and method, right? but then they're not okay with it being uh, the opposite, right? And uh, you usually see it a lot in LA and in New York. Um, you know, these guys, it's like these guys that would never have a chance at these other girls mm -hmm. if they were okay. single, right? But if they're dating one hot chick, that could then have access to all these girls and they can convince them and manipulate them that this is the lifestyle that they want, then they do it, yeah. right? And that's what people think open relationship is and all that stuff and it's not like that to me is like that's just dudes who can't get laid on their own you know what i mean like this is different um because we're not openly out there like we have hunting a, and seeking like if we're together and we're somewhere like maybe we'll yeah. be like well, what do you think of that usually, person people usually right. come to yeah but people will come up to us and be like hey we, can we get the invite tonight and we're like it's not like that we like, Relax. We definitely have, um, we definitely have an, un an unconventional relationship, I'd say. Yeah. Like even to the point of like, you know, if it eventually, if it comes to like marriage or if it comes to like kids, like we've we've talked so many different ways about it. It's like, you know, maybe we'll get a maybe we'll get a concubine. You know, maybe we'll get like a host. Like maybe that's a whole. Maybe idea there'll for be a, a third person that's show. just like maybe there's a third person that's just like our 
other mom Maybe slash that's, wife. That's I don't the, know. Like, that's we don't know. the vacancy right there. You know what yeah. I mean? Because this, this ain't having it. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, we'll, we'll see. You know, he gets a kid, I get a horse. Like, we, we, we're, Trade off. we're very, very open in all aspects. And we're so fing stubborn <laughs> that for every person out there that says, they're not gonna make it. Wow, like they're waiting. Yeah. You know, they're 80 years old and they're trying to check Reddit. Our car and Polly broke it up yet. <laughs> no. Even if we hated each other, <laughs> out of pure stubbornness for all those people. Stubbornness and spite. If the you more interviewed you us, say. yeah, if you interviewed us in like 40 years and we're in our 70s, you'd be like, so how'd you guys stay together this whole time? Like, we hate each other. But <laughs> But we hate town. them more. We'll not give the haters the, <laughs> the power. <laughs>